I can't believe I'm doing this, honestly. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode. So since we can't actually go down any lower with this, because I guess it's too low, it now blows itself up, uh, I'll actually need to go in and remove this stuff manually, um, if I want it to be an actually clean design. For now, uh, let's clean up just the one side that we have that's very, very dirty, which is this guy here. And then, at least some will clean it up. And then we'll be good. At least we'll have a usable area, mostly. Yeah, it's nice and clean. It's not perfect, but... If I plan to light up the bottom before we do the 3D, it'll be fine. It'll definitely be fine. Let's go and figure out if we can craft some sea lanterns. Uh, I guess... I could always do glowstone. But sea lanterns, we have so many now. I don't quite know how this is going to end up looking, but you know... We're going to try it. If it looks absolutely terrible, we're going to remove it. I'm not sold on the idea of putting uh, crafting benches everywhere despite it being very useful. So, we're gonna try this, kind of here, going all the way around, and, or at least as much as I have, and we'll see how it looks, and if it looks good, we'll keep it, if not, we'll go ahead and replace it. Um, hopefully it'll be okay. This actually doesn't look bad. I think I'd actually want this blackstone on this side as well, like fully thicker, uh, thickened out. Basically have this whole thing thicker. But at least now we have crafting stations everywhere. So let's craft up a bunch of sea lanterns and see... Actually, we'll all be able to see how much we can actually craft. I've been saying uh, double chest, but I guess we'll find out if that's actually true. It's not quite there. Not quite a double chest. I, I did miscalculate the crystals. To be fair, I basically looked in one of those and then I multiplied by how many chests I had to get an average, but that's still, for seven minutes, seven and a half minutes of AFK time, that is still really nice for amount of sea lanterns. I'm still very pleased with this. Don't get me wrong. I wish it was a double chest, though. I do. Ah, oh well. I can't believe I'm doing this, honestly. But you know what? But at least I'm doing it at the bedrock layer, so I know for sure that, uh, It'll be less than the full size of the 90k that I need for this. It's a start. You know, we have a little bit to go. Um, this is all the sea lanterns that was crafted. I could have had an extra stack if I didn't throw a stack extra into the lava. But you know what? You know, little by little, we'll get this whole thing covered. It does look kind of cool with the bedrock. Now, I don't want to leave this as the final design. I want to specify, I do not want to leave this as the final design. I want to do some kind of something, three-dimensional, that have like about five, six blocks up, probably in height, to work with, I'm guessing. I just don't know what yet, and this does help make things spawn-proof. Because I guess it is transparent, so nothing should spawn on the sea lanterns themselves. And if as long as I make the thing up, uh, carpeted or something like that. Nothing else should spawn on it either. So, uh, guess Guardian Farm AFK at some time in the near future. For the first time since I created it, I've AFK'd some more. I'm actually AFK'd. So we have a kind of a, l a little bit of ink sacks. Uh, we have a bit of fish. Uh, just a little bit of fish. Um, about a double, two double chests of fish. And, um, we got a good amount of shards, uh, like, this under a double, ch two double chests, in most cases, and for the actual shards, sorry, it's for the crystals, it's about the same, we have a full double chest, plus a little bit of less. Not a dent, we have four shulkers of sea lanterns. My god. So, see, uh, the shards go until there. I've only been using the top sh uh, chests, 
these ones. I still have all of this. And we've gone, what, to around here-ish? <laughs> oh, God. I have a few dozen uh, shulkers of sea lanterns clearly here for the <laughs> bit of AFKing I did. <laughs> oh, this farmer's ridiculous. I think it's time to take this down. You know, before we expand this fully all the way across, because this is going to take a while to expand, I might as well get the redstone components we can back. So if we need to build up anything else, we can actually can with the materials, because this is definitely not going to stick around here. I'm starting to regret not putting the sea lanterns in first, because picking up all the stuff is a pain. So you know what? I think I'm going to put in the sea lanterns underneath these guys, and then I'll take down the rest of it. Because... <laughs> It will make picking up the stuff so much easier. I had the brilliant idea, uh, possibly, of pushing down every random one. But I don't know how to launch this now that I've broken it slightly. So... Is it this one? Oh, I actually got it right. <gasps> Ooh! Ooh. Uh, okay. That's not bad. With it all being flat, like, this is still a good base. As, like, to build up from it, because it'll light it up. But now that I've filled in the entire thing, uh, I believe removing this guy and having it go. Let's take a look at the entire thing. Taken care of. And again, we're going to put glass at whatever we built above this, there'll be glass. So, it won't be hard to walk on. I mean, honestly, even if it was, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Yeah, I kind of like this. It, it automatically... It somehow is darker. On one. It feels darker because it's no longer so flat, I guess. Um, and it's just more interesting as a floor. And now, we, you know, we can still go in and, you know, build up whatever you want. Not not out of that. Let's, let's say we build it out of bedrock and you can place something here, you know, whatever we want in random configurations, uh, and then put glass. Uh, as for what kind of glass? Probably clear glass. All the way atop, and then it would encompass the entire thing. And we'd be able, still be able to walk and see down into it. Uh, the question is still what kind of three-dimensional thing I'd want to do here. But... I think that's the plan. I think we will be keeping the bottom half, which means I'm only removing the top half of the sweepers. And I can remove them from this side fully. Because... Well, it doesn't matter. They can hit the wall. They're not gonna... get ruined. Or I guess from the other side. No, no, here they are. Here they are. Or not. Other side. That side. I should probably wait till I figure out how the farm is going to be, what size. Because that if I have to AFK it, let's say Y20, they give me 20 blocks high, or 15 blocks high area to work with for the, for the ground design. Because I want to do some kind of three-dimensional thing. So I think it's going to be once the floor is like this, then it's going to be farm design, and then it's going to be actual floor design. Kind of in that order. I almost feel bad removing this, I'm not gonna lie. Now, again, I'm keeping the sweepers from the other side, because this is the, the side where they kind of fly into, but... Otherwise... Yeah, let's... Let's take this place down and get as many resources back as we can. I didn't mean to launch it. But, I, I guess, uh, we have launched it. <laughs> the good thing is, there's no TNT on those. So... I guess there it goes. <laughs> I'll, I'll remove him the other side. Oh, god darn it! <laughs> I launched it again! <sighs> now I have to break it apart from the other side. Uh, oh, fine. That's what happens when you try to take apart flying machines. That are massive. You end up launching them by accident. This side... The half is there, so this is where we're using to uh, push down the sea lanterns. And on the other side, it's all cleared out already. Did you pick up the little shulker box that will appear now? There they are. And we're all set. Got kind of a good amount of stuff back from this. 
Uh, of course, we still are missing the other quarter of it. But, you know, overall, I'd say this is a good uh, breakdown session. I uh, hope shouldn't have lost too much. I did notice some stuff was despawning, though. So it's okay. But for now, let's take a look at the floor builder that I want to use for actually putting this in automatically. This is the Comet's floor builder. And I need to basically take this machine and extend it to be about 300 long. Or, um, since I put in some of the sea lanterns already, not quite 300 long. Um, and basically extend it as long as I need to um, with the same method. Now basically the way it works is the flight machine goes back and forth and then the original section here pushes it back one and then again it goes back and forth and it's able to go back and break a piece of the uh, the leaves and have the items drop down and then all the stuff here works in tandem. Survival test, let's go in survival mode Press the button, that'll enable it. Perfect. And now, we should be good. So this seems like it's working perfectly. I just need to let it warm up. So I think the floor design or floor maker is good to go. We need to craft up a ton of sea lanterns, ton of sea lanterns to actually fuel this thing. Um, but, I was like, why do you need a place there? I'm looking at the... My cart is intersecting there. Makes sense. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> so... <laughs> Look, as long as you don't have minecarts from previous tests in your thing, you'll be fine. <laughs> this works. I'm an idiot. <laughs> we can't use this world floor builder. <laughs> <laughs> no one caught the fact we're trying to use a floor builder that uses water streams in the nether. I don't think you can use water in the nether. We can't use this floor builder. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, we got a, st a shulker box of leaves now. Uh, I need a plan B. We need a plan B pronto. <laughs> Oh, crap. I guess what we can do is just fill up our inventory and not use the full thing. Let's go and create or take a look at it real quick. So basically, we would just build up that this flying machine that goes back and forth. And that's it. We would not build up this entire thing that we just gathered all these leaves for. Great. Because obviously we can't throw the items in our direction. And we just write them write this guy out, and then stop him when we run out of things in our inventory. Why? Why 33 shulkers of sea lanterns? Oh, Halfway there. Halfway there. I think I'm gonna need to AFK some more. Because, yeah, this is not gonna be enough uh, crystals. That's the crystal is the limiting fa factor. I am gonna need to craft up a ton of the extra shards. I'm probably gonna use as much as I can for Dark Prismarine first. And then I'm probably going to do half and half in terms of what's left. A stack of bricks, a stack of regular, a stack of bricks of regular. Probably, but for primarily Dark Prismarine just because it's... Uh, I don't think we'll have enough ink sacks to do... Use up everything, so everything else will go from there. Mm, I want to uh, build up this thing. Uh, I guess on one hand, I don't need to build up the entire grass and everything. On the other hand, you know, it's not as good as the original design. So, oh, but, 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 I just realized I can actually go all the way from the very, as much as the edge as I can because I no longer care about them giving me items. So, I can, instead of having like a bigger area here and there, we could start building it much closer to the wall. Ooh, I just realized that that is actually really nice. A little bit of a plus to it. Not a big plus, but it's a little bit of a plus. It's built up. Uh, what I need to do still is finish placing these two lines because we need to make sure that this is all even all the way down. And then we can start at least with an inventory full of stuff because 
this is fine, this will continue, and assuming I put the obsidian correctly to stop it, about every inventory or so, it will stop going, and then I'll restock my inventory and kind of do it a little bit manually. Okay, well, aside from, uh, <clears throat> me misplacing at the very beginning here, uh, <laughs> how did we do? How is it? Oh, look at this. There we go. So this is about eight layers that we just did. I don't know how it's going to turn in the time lapse, I'll be honest. But, so we're going to be able to do everything except three in the back here. And then a little bit in the, on the other side. But, I mean, look at this. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's anything missed. At least at first glance. So, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, good machine. Good, good. Uh, the downside is, uh, we do have to stop it with obsidian. And I guess if you want to do it for yourself, you have to basically count- stop it here, here, on the redstone block, and this one. So three observers and the redstone block, basically count out the equal amount on all of them, and then you can stop it. And a full inventory, I think, can do nine for me. And I did eight, just to make sure that I don't run out for sure. Machine has made it to the end. One line I can't go on because now it's starting to hit the sea lanterns with the slime blocks. And I totally just wow managed to fall in that hole, huh? Jeez, uh, what is this? Well, let's take this thing down, and fill in the rest, cause I mean, look at it. <laughs> Thank you, fly machine. Thank you, fly machine. Yeah! It's done! Well, laying it all in is done. Of course, now we need to run the sweepers. Yes! Oh, this is about to be much more awesome. So much more awesome. Yes, let's do it. Go! Go! Yes! Give me the great three-dimensional floor. <laughs> Yes. Look at it. Oh. This is it. This is what the floor is going to be like. Yeah, this is far more interesting, at least to me. Having the three-dimensionality of it. Now, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with these side ones here. Four on one side, two on the other, and even l bigger still at the part where it started from. Here it's, what, like five, six, something like that? Yeah. If not a little more. I don't know. Might leave it as is, might do a little more. But either way... It's definitely a lot more interesting to me. I have been wondering. I have been wondering... 75,631 crafted total. Doesn't mean they've all been placed, but that's how many I've crafted. And I've placed 72.3 thousand sea lanterns. <sighs> yes. That is <laughs> an insane amount. And all I can say is thank you, uh, flying machine. Definitely made my life a lot easier after the beginning. <laughs> but now we gotta remove the rest of this thing. Unfortunately, that is all the time we have for today. With that, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye! <laughs>